My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. One thing to note about snakes is that they can have excellent camouflage. It can be unsettling knowing a potentially venomous snake is coiled up beneath your feet and you have no idea. In Louisiana, a copperhead is likely the culprit of this situation. However, let me show you why a copperhead isn't as dangerous as you'd think. You got a copperhead? Oh my gosh. Where? Right on the edge of the sun. Beautiful. They're crazy fast though if they when they want to be. They're surprisingly quick. Despite that their venom isn't potent enough to kill me, I still need to be very careful. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes, but I can't flick them away because I got a snake in my hand, a venomous one. This is the infamous copperhead. This is one of two moccasins in the US. The cottonmouth is the other moccasin. You find them on dry, drier trails like this. And these guys are found all over the Eastern US and they can actually range into West Texas. This is possibly one of the prettiest snakes I have seen on this trip. These guys are in the Viper family. They're in the same family as rattlesnakes, puff adders, the cottonmouth. If you look carefully, they have a small hole on either side of the head, so they have two of them, where they have a heat-seeking pit just behind the nostril and in front of the eye. So what would be out here eating the snake if it's venomous? Well, there are some snakes out here that are actually immune to copperhead venom, and that's the king snake. This is a snake with a very significant venom, and if I was bitten, we'd definitely be on our way to the hospital to make sure that I am taken care of properly. So if you ever get bitten by this guy, there's a pretty good chance you will survive that bite, even if you get envenomated, but seek medical attention immediately. Does this snake make a good pet, the copperhead? And I'm gonna say absolutely not. I mean, it's venomous. They're very rare in captivity. In fact, there are actually many laws against keeping venomous snakes in captivity that you need a permit or a license for. So keeping one, you need a lot of certification and experience. They need a fairly leafy enclosure, but these guys are probably gonna be fairly easy to feed, which is nice. In dry leaves, this snake is very, almost, basically impossible to see, and these guys know it. And so these guys will bury themselves in the leave, leaves a little bit when they see a predator. And if, and if the predator doesn't see them, they'll just stand still and the predator will walk right past them. But if the, they do know they've been spotted, what they will do is curl up in a ball and wiggle their tail really quickly. Lots of non-venomous snakes do this. The cottonmouth does this as well. These guys are a nocturnal species, but they definitely can be seen out at day and at dawn and dusk. Thank you so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the copperhead. I'll see you guys next time for possibly an even cooler snake. Hopefully not one as dangerous though. These are usually really placid snakes, and in my opinion, it is the most beautiful venomous snake Louisiana has to offer. If you happen to see one in the wild, just admire it from a distance and point it out to others so they don't end up having an unfortunate run-in with it because they're easy to miss. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.